What's going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is the best techer. That's what I said, best techer. 1080p handy cam. You like hold it in your hand, kind of like those old school handy cams, except uh, instead of using tapes, obviously, this uses a memory card up to 32 gigabytes. It goes for $89.99 and uh, you can get it on Amazon. I will link it in the description down below. Inside the box, you have your RCA you know, audio video cables, USB cable, a little mini remote so you can control the camera if you're gonna play it back or record, HDMI cable so you can hook up the camera to your TV, two batteries, a charger, a disc to install drivers for the camera, a user's manual. So the camera does come with this cool looking tiny little case, but uh, it feels like it does give it some good protection. And then you take that camera out and this thing is very small. It's probably the size of a phone, the length. And then it's not that thick. Feels good in your hand right there when you hold it. You get your record button. You get all your input to get your USB. You get your HDMI and then your audio. You have your photo button on the top and then it looks like this is probably to zoom in and out. Tells you on the side here, high definition, 24 megapixel camera. 16.9 LCD panel. You get a power, you can change your modes, up and down, and your menu button. On the bottom is where you can put your battery in and your memory card. And that is pretty much it, so let's get this thing booted up. When you place the battery in, you have this little button here that you need to push to the side when you place it in. And then it snaps over it. What's going on guys, Greggles TV. This is me testing out the camera. I've got my camera lights that I always use in my videos uh, and so they give off really good like natural kind of white looking light and uh, you can hear the sound as well. Um, the sound on this I, I'm not super impressed with. Obviously it's an $89 camera so you, you take with that what you get. You know an $89 camera you can't expect the best sound and the best video and everything because cell phones that are $89 don't even do that great a video. They do decent video but not that great. This records in 1080p, which is nice. You can also throw in a, uh, I have a 64 gigabyte uh, SD card in there right now. So a 64 gigabyte card do work. You don't have to rely on just the 32. And it says I can record about two hours and 30 minutes total of 1080p video on that 64 gigabyte card. Like I was saying, these are the lights that I'm using right now to record behind. And it's, it does take a little bit of time to um, autofocus a little bit, or at least it looks like that in the LCD. Um, so very interesting. This is my dog. You can see him in a, this is a low light setting in my bedroom. And uh, shooting in 1080p. <laughs> It's so weird to shoot in something like this. Uh, it's a lot different than shooting with these handy cameras versus uh, shooting on uh, phone cameras for so long. Also, to give you an idea of what it looks like in low light uh, with myself on in front of the camera, um, you can see, to me anyway, it looks a little bit yellow. I mean, it looks pretty normal, I guess, compared to most cameras that are out today, but the, the coloring, but I don't know, it just... The, the the LCD screen is not super high resolution. I mean, I can see myself. It looks fairly clear, but uh, I don't know. You guess it, you have to see it to believe it. Also, uh, back into the the good lighting, the the nice lighting, day lighting. Um, the camera shoots in AVI, so if you don't like AVI files, you might have problems with this. I wish it shot in MP4. I looked through the settings. I could not find a setting to uh, be able to shoot in MP4. Is it only shoots in AVI? So what is left to say about the best Tekker camera? Well, it's $89. It's uh, a budget camera. It records in 1080p, 720p, and non-HD as well. Uh, you can put at least a 64 gigabyte SD card in there. It's got zoom, digital zoom, so you can zoom in and out if you want to. Uh, has uh, some controls to um, uh, play with the brightness and the white balances and stuff like that. I left everything on auto because I think most people will do that anyway. Um, do I recommend it? I 
Definitely don't recommend it to people that are looking for a great camera. Um, someone that's maybe, I, I would recommend this camera to maybe like a kid. If a kid is looking to get into cameras and uh, you don't want to buy them a phone and you don't want to buy them an expensive camera, but you want to get them something uh, that's a camera, I would possibly recommend this one. Uh, it's a, definitely a good starter camera uh, in that regard. The sound obviously is not the greatest. That's definitely its weakest point. Um, but it's a, like I said, it's, it, it feels quality in your hand for the most part. And you know, it's got uh, the grip right here so you can hold it and zoom and you can put a memory card in there. So it's got some good things going for it. And the quality of the video, especially in, um, in good lighting is decent. In low light, you can see some fuzziness. And then also um, the audio, sometimes when I talk, I don't know if it's my video software, but I don't think it is my video editing software because I just played the file and it kind of, the video doesn't really match up with the lips at all either. But if you want to pick this up, I will link it in the description down below. If you have any questions or comments about this, leave them in the description down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you down the road. Peace.